Could this be the end for Eric? As Eric's health keeps getting worse and worse on The Bold and The Beautiful, fans can't help but wonder if he really is going to die on the show. Let's check what awaits him for the future in the show right away. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. Eric Forrester has always been the man who made it all happen. But like every good thing comes to an end, looks like his time is on limit on The Bold and The Beautiful too. Especially after the recent previews, it is making our doubts into reality. Eric has been trying to get his head back in business, and is starting to create a new fashion collection this time. He wants to show everyone that he still got it, and is still one of the best designers out there. Ridge, on the other side, isn't as supportive as he should be for his dad, but it hasn't stopped Eric from doing what he wants. However, there is something else that's getting in his way to make it successful. In the latest preview, when Eric was trying to sketch, his hand wouldn't let him, so he had to give up. Donna tried to convince him to eat something, but he just wasn't hungry. All he really wanted to do was get his ideas onto paper, but it felt pointless. Donna suggested the pills, and he got a bit snappy, saying they didn't work, but he quickly apologized. Donna was getting worried, thinking it was all too much for Eric. But for Eric, it was his last chance to share his full collection with the world, so he couldn't walk away from it. Just then, RJ walked in and asked what was happening. Donna explained that Eric's hand tremors were getting worse. RJ assured his grandfather that he'd help him and reminded him that he had nothing to prove. Eric sat back at the sketch board while RJ and Donna fussed over him. He refused to call the doctor, saying he'd be fine with RJ's help, and handed the pencil over to him. While his hand's tremors were getting worse, he even had a headache and said he was going to lie down. He told them that when he came back down, he didn't want to hear any more about his condition, and he didn't want them to tell anyone else, especially not Ridge. RJ was obviously really worried about his granddad. It had started as a fun project, but now it was taking a toll on Eric, stressing him out and making him tired. RJ was concerned about keeping the secret from his dad, feeling it was time for his father to know the truth about Eric's condition, because if something happened to Eric, he wouldn't be able to forgive himself. Now, we all can't help but wonder if Eric's storyline is really going toward an end. His condition could be more than just arthritis. In an interview with Soap Opera Digest, Joshua Hoffman who plays RJ on the show said that, RJ is worried about his grandfather's health and he's asked not to say anything to anyone. Eric's frustration with his problems is reaching a boiling point, and it's getting tougher to keep it under wraps. Even John the Cook, who plays the iconic Eric on screen, said, Eric is feeling that he is being elbowed out of the business in favor of the younger people at the company. That really makes Eric angry, he can still contribute. He also said that there is this medical mystery behind his trembling hands. On the other side, Hoffman feels like RJ is torn up on this. He says, he has so much respect for his father, as well as his grandfather. He wants to tell his dad, because the situation is getting worse, and I don't think his dad would forgive him if he kept Eric's secret and then something happened to his grandfather, which totally makes sense. Plus Eric is so determined to win the competition that McCook said, this may be the most serious thing he has ever done. If things are getting so serious that RJ's worried Eric might hit a rough patch, you know something is about to happen. So what is really happening to him? Is his condition really about to get very serious over proving himself? It really feels like his storyline is getting pushed over the edge. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.